Welcome back to Stick War 3. A lot has changed. You can see here that UI is better. But more importantly is what it brings with us. What it brings to us. We've got the Rune of Reanimation. Enemy units will respawn as dead if they die poisoned? Oh, really? And the Necromancer's Summoning Staff spawns a dead at your army's front line for every spell you cast. Hmm. Then we just need a cheap spell or two. And you'll notice that we have no units. We need those. And the only ones we want are the two zombies. Can you win in Stick War 3 only using zombies? Well, let's find out. We also have the new glacial map, absolutely. And a swamp. So as we jump in, we're gonna be fighting a bunch of Spiritans. This is going to be a little bit difficult. However, what we do know is one of these guys needs to go immediately to Crystal so that we can start working because the deads have 20% more health and this one Spawns a dead every time we use a spell. So getting that first 50 crystals is going to be pretty important. We're going to move our first zombie out here to the middle ground to try to take it. And then what we're going to do is we should have gotten minor rush. But what we could do is this. Because look, check out what happens. Zombies, man. Zombies are everywhere. So what we're going to do, queue up a miner to try to increase our economy. And keep pumping out those zombies. Remember, this strategy is gonna rely on zombies. It's all zombies. Can zombies win Stick War 3? Well, then you're gonna need a lot of them, or at least you're gonna want a lot of them. But I'm thinking a strong economy is definitely important too. We will do another spell just to spawn one at our front line. And so technically the zombie should spawn over here. The enemy is bringing out archers, which do a really, really good job at taking out zombies. They've also got some pretty strong spells, which we need to be mindful of. But this is where the strategy starts, I feel like, to help tip a little bit in our favor. The poisonous range unit is going to be doing better. And also, well, that's pretty much it. But holding the middle ground is going to give us a little bit of an economic advantage. You can see by holding the obelisk of power here in the mid ground, every now and then you get a little bit of gold and a little bit of crystal coming your way. It could be just enough to tip the balance in your favor. And it also keeps like the enemy from like just camping in their base. Now in multiplayer, that's going to become even more important. And I really look forward to like seeing multiplayer battles, participating in them, even kind of like commentating on them would be a lot of fun. And I'm just like really, really, really excited for this game. Furthermore, campaign mode is supposed to come out in early 2022 and guess what guys as you can see by this beautiful glacial map it's winter of 2022 at least if you're in the northern hemisphere i guess okay they're attacking we're gonna do a little bit of rage zombies just spawn they do have a spear tin so it's all a matter of can we overcome the adversity on the battlefield we clearly need a lot more Okay, look, these units can queue up at the same time. So one of the things that I'm realizing we don't have enough of is you, crystals. Now let's get back to the battle where we are starting to push through. We're breaking their spear line and taking out all of their archers. So the question right now is can you win Stick War 3 using the zombie rush strategy? Being a necromancer in a way, which I really think that we need different kinds of magical wizards i think the answer is yes now look at that i said my soldiers should retreat four of them kept marching that means four of them either spawned when an enemy died due to poisoning which is why this unit is so important a slow moving poisonous range unit with high health we need a lot of those and whenever we did use a spell, we spawn a dead at the at our front line, which is basically just means wherever your front unit is, not where most of your units are. There's also the spell though that like allows you look at this. So this guy should be poisoned. Now will he spawn a zombie? Look at that. They're bringing in the bubble shields. One of them is an enemy okay we've got two zombies that were spawned the merrick i don't know what the merrick is doing because he has no offensive abilities he she whatever no offensive abilities and look at that died with poisoning unit pops out it's free units and that means this is free real estate they do have some archers another merrick 
Yeah, so now this could be a situation that we just built like the ideal army to counter our enemy. So there could be, well, a little bit of luck there. But I don't think so. And to prove that, what we're going to be doing is right after this battle, we're going to queue in again and we're going to be pa faced off against like another okay. AI combination, right? This one seems to be Arteos, which we haven't seen him, and he is the king of Spiritans. He's got Merricks, he's got Archers, and he's got like this Blizzard spell, which looks awesome on the new Glacial map. Like, look at that. Half my army is freaking frozen right now. So we are desperately short of gold, but I'm thinking we're not going to need it. That guy dies. A zombie spawns for us. They do have... Looks like two archers. One's about to die. Yeah, we are just like... Once the zombie horde gets there, they just start chewing through the enemy. So we'll do another rage zombie plague. And remember that whenever we do that, we get a free zombie, which is just incredibly awesome. It's got really, really good synergy. I'm trying to think... Which would we get rid of? Maybe Vampire? We don't really need the 15% lifesteal on our units. So I'm thinking what we could do is get the one that spawns a zombie once you take the middle ground. Because that's definitely something you'd want. All right? Okay. So we're going to exit. We're going to go back to the drawing board. And we are going to edit this out. So we'll take that guy out. And this is what I'm talking about. So, dead graveyard spawn. Spawn a dead every five seconds while holding the center tower. Yes, please. And we actually want that, like, over there. Now let's try out the swamp map. And we will go into battle here. Oh, I like the little countdown. Anticipation. All right, so first things first. I guess we'll get, like, two, a miner, two more zombies. And one of those guys actually should have gone crystal, probably. So we'll get you once you come back onto the battlefield, get you on cr to crystal so that we can get a spell. Attack. Move our men into the middle ground, taking that obelisk early. Oh, the enemy probably has zombies, guys. I don't see how they would have gotten that quicker. Oh my god, okay. they have fire archers. Okay, this is bad. Fire archers do a really, really good job against zombies. So what we're going to want, then, is to... Save up enough to push them off that spot, right? So preferably, what we would have is two of these guys. But I don't know if we're going to have enough money. Where's my third? Oh, that's the issue. That's the issue. We don't have the gold coming in. Now, saving up for one more of these, which will give us 50 crystal to call in a spell or two. These batches of gold come in. We can buy another one. But fire is problematic, needless to say. So fire arrows is an excellent counter to the zombie apocalypse. As you can see here, they're coming back in, aren't they? All right, let's do a little rage. So then we spawn in a zombie. Now, if we can just close the distance, there's so many zombies that are incredibly weak. We are going to start dropping. However, we're starting to get some poisons on. So. That is all well and good. We push the enemy back. If we could have poisoned him, and we can do a little bit of a rage, that'll spawn in a zombie. Boom, we just took the middle ground. Now what we need to do is, well, hope we hold it, to be honest. Defend. Oh my god. Attack. Those four zombies are summonables. That just shows the power. I thought, I thought a decent amount of those were ours, man. We need to build up a strong contingent of men. Now, what I'm curious about is can I also... Oh my gosh. This is huge. We can queue up all three of our units at the same time if we were able to. Okay, so they've got a sword wrath. Now, the next thing I'm going to want is this. Once this is done by holding this, we will just send out a zombie. Like, every, what is it? Every five seconds while holding the tower, we will pump out another zombie. This is an evolution. A little bit of an improvement, I'd like to say. All right. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to need that energy, that crystal to summon up basically the rage virus so that we can get a few more helping hands here. It's kind of wild. I need a hundred. I really need a hundred. All right, guys, pull back to the mid ground. We need to consolidate our economy and get on maybe another crystal miner. How many do we got two and two or is it three and two? It looks like it's three and two and that's the issue. 
Not paying enough attention to the economy definitely hurts. Well, just because we're gonna do a rage just to spawn in a zombie. And look at that, the obelisk just spawned in another one. So now, the enemy is always gonna be playing defense. We survived this long, it should be easy enough to continue surviving. <laughs> I mean, if, if you think about it, Stick War 3 really is a survival game. Maybe every game is a little bit of a survival game if you think hard enough. Like Tetris? Hey, did you survive long enough? To put those blocks in a cool order? Honestly, I have no idea what I'm talking about right now. I haven't played Tetris in ages. Why are we talking about Tetris? Oh, because we're zombies and our brains are... There's so much atrophy there. <laughs> now, what's cool is you can upgrade this. Alright, boys, let's, let's go and attack. I would love to be able to upgrade this, but honestly, we might not need it. I mean, look at this army that's... These guys are just summonable zombies. I love it. Guys die from poison. That army could... If these guys are poisoned, yep. One guy just died and he was poisoned. The other guy died, he was not poisoned. So only one zombie was spawned. And boom, we'll get a huge zombie apocalypse. Like zombies need to come in apocalyptic numbers, right? The answer is yes. <laughs> yes, every time. All right, so it looks like they fought this off, but... Ooh, that little double hit by that sword wrath, really cool animation. These fire archers like have an idea like, hey man, we need to go like kill whoever's in charge of this because they just keep coming. We might even be able to kill a second one. Not enough crystal, we're five short, but we're holding the middle ground. There we go. All right, so let's go manage the economy for a moment. I've got, what, two and three? Yeah, we'll get three on crystal then, because the more crystal, the better. Because I'm curious what the level three upgrade is. Okay, it's 300 crystal. Speed bonus activated. Okay, so that means the zombies that spawn from here, are there just two of them? Wow. They changed this. Before, it would increase their health. Now, I think it makes them faster, and maybe we get two basic zombies? They, they're definitely not the tanky zombies we've seen previously. Actually, we're at 56 out of 60, so I think it makes sense to queue up one of our better units. Look at that. They get too close, they get poisoned, and now you join the army of the undead. I just love this game. And you can see why. There's just so many different strategies that you can employ. All right, so we're locked up here. So now, pretty much just... If we had more spells, we could summon in more zombies. But we do not. So, 61 out of 60. That's awesome. I wonder what's the highest you can do. So we're going to send in this army. A giant zombie phalanx. In the swamps. It's very appropriate. Very fitting. Very atmospheric. And we're almost getting tier 3, which is, I believe, at least previously, the max tier. Yeah, our zombies are already at their statue. We've pushed back their forces just with our summonable ones. This is like the point in the movie where, like, the evil necromancer has just hit critical mass and is snowballing. And you're like, alright, everybody's gonna die. Everybody will soon be a zombie. But that's alright with me, because we just proved that yes, yes you can under the right conditions anyway, win Stick War 3 only using zombie, only using a necromantic strategy. So, here's the question. We click on our army, and I show you the units. I want you guys to leave me a challenge build to use in the next video of Stick War 3. Now, it's gotta be realistic. Like, if you're like, you know what, all four heroes, you'd probably die. But then again, it would be kind of interesting, wouldn't it? Because, <laughs> like, I'd have to get one out and then, like, save up, and he'd have to fight to get the other ones. We've got these different upgrades, these different enchantments. You've seen the zombie-related ones today. These ones, you can only pick one. See that little white star right above them? Vampiric Soul. I love, like, all of the visualization of the spells that we have here. So, let me know your custom army build below. And then if you see one that you like, give it an upvote. You know, give it a like so it's more than likely to be chosen. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.